This is the site that our group have chosen. It is located at Desa Sri Hatamas Kuala Lumpur. Commercial tower, the source site, will be constructed by the developer SCP Traders Square Sedam Berhad. Normally, ball piling has to be carried on those tall buildings of massive industrial complexes which requires foundation which can bear the load of thousands of tons, most probably in unstable or difficult soil condition. Ball piling generates less noise and little vibration as compared with conventional driven piling methods. Firstly, surveyor on duty will pin the point based on approved drawings. The point is located by using a theodolite. Theodolite are used in construction to calculate the angles and horizontal distance and to fix the point. Using the auger ball pit machine, a primary hole is bored to roughly 20m to 30m depth. Steel casing with a depth of 16 meter is insert into the board hole by a vibrating hammer. The vertical accuracy of the steel casing will be checked using plumb bob during the process of installation. By using a bucket, the hole is drilled to a required depth which reaches the hard layer. Hence, it can determine if the ball pile is friction pile or end bearing pile. At the same time, polymeric slurry is pumped into the hole. Concrete and soil below will be mixed with polymeric slurry to withstand the pressure. While drilling, the soil will also be removed and disposed off-site by the truck.
function of polymeric slurry is to make sure that there is continuous pressure to the surrounding soil to prevent the surrounding soil from caving inwards. This side, polymeric slurry is used instead of bentonite slurry because it is more suitable for a construction site with limited or small area. Polymeric slurry is also easier to be disposed and has lower disposal costs compared to bentonite slurry. Soil excavated using bentonite slurry retains high level of moisture and contamination, therefore difficult to transport or dispose. The extra polymeric slurry will be taken away by pumping to reuse during the next boring process. After the whole drilling has completed, a reinforcement cage is placed about 12 meter and it is welded to the steel casing so it will remain at its position. Trimine tube is insert section by section until the end. The trimine tube section is average 6 meter. tube will be removed section by section and it is cleaned with water after complete filling the bore hole with concrete. During the removal of final section, the trimine tube is pulled and pushed upwards and downwards for checking. The concrete is poured into the bore hole from bottom to top through the trimine tube. The pressure from the polymeric slurry will force the excess polymeric slurry below to go upwards.
After removing the trimine tube, unweld and remove the steel casing from the reinforcement bars before the concrete hardened. Cut away the starter bar and the steel casing can be reused. After removing the steel casing, fill back the hole with soil. The ball pile is then left to cure. There are three distinct ball power wall options in current use which are contiguous wall, interlocking wall and second wall. The types of ball power wall that are used in this project is contiguous ball power wall. The jack-in power machine use of hydraulic pressure to install precast reinforced concrete piles into soil. are installed at centers generally 150 mm greater than their diameter. Therefore, leaving gaps in the structural wall where soil is exposed during excavation. Reinforced concrete lining is required to secure exposed soil and resist long-term groundwater pressures. As excavations proceed, it is essential to seal the gap with mortar with rib holes to enable the drainage of groundwater. A cap beam is cast on top of all ball piles to tie them together. Conclusion, ball piles have greater stiffness than soldier piles or steel sheet piles. They avoid excessive bulk excavation and help to control ground movements. 
This option is suitable where the retained soil is usually firm to stiff and where the groundwater table is below the level of the maximum excavation. This is the most economic option and the fastest method to construct.